This is how good Islam is, right? Because up until this moment, I'm on the ground, people were thinking there's no one that can challenge Charles. Charles is at such an elite level. Islam beats him so soundly that now you're like, I don't even know if it makes sense for Charles to fight him again. Yeah, that's... That's insane. How, that's how good he is. Yeah. June 1st, Newark, New Jersey pay-per-view. Main event, Islam versus Poirier. If we talk about Dustin, he's already legend. He has big experience in this sport, but he's a problem. He has he have good striking, his bad point, his wrestling and grappling, you know. On that note, what do we make of Islam calling out Dustin Poirier for a fight in June? Because I mean, like... I mean, he has to fight somebody. You know, and it is hard for him to believe that Saruki and Oliveira, me or Holloway would be ready or want to fight in June. I'm not sure why June is his date, you know, especially with this fight happening now. He's going to, it could be July, August. But I think, uh, you know, it's all what ifs. And obviously you, you've made it clear kind of over the past couple of days you'd like to fight in June and against Dustin Poirier after his win. Is that what you're hoping for right now? I know Dustin, it's not deserve the title of us, but we don't have any option right now. Everybody busy. I have, I want to fight. Fight, you know, I want to fight three times in the year. That's why I just have to call someone. And Borea is free now, and uh, he showed like excellent performance, scored the beautiful knockout. That's why he's free now. He's healthy, and I ask him to fight in June, maybe. Recently, I saw you tweeting about this. A, a youngster named Islam Makachev wanted to fight you, and you kind of laughed it off. No interest? I'm not sure who he, who he is, but yeah, I can. I, he can get his ass whipped too, man. You know? You like or you don't like, I am best fighter in the world right now. Thank you. Oh, 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 oh that's how you time it. Okay, I've been working like three jobs. Probably why I never see ya. Probably why I never have time for the fake friends on my media. Oh God, I've been running now. Up early when the sun is out. Not setting out my own soul, but those real ones, they coming now. Is that Makachev urges the UFC to book a fight against Dustin Poirier, even though he knows that Dustin does not deserve it. Like he said, you're the only guy available right now and he wants to do three fights a year. So I'm curious what's your reaction when a fighter has this kind of like, yeah, he'll do mentality. I mean, that's on him. I've done more in the sport of mixed martial arts than he has. I've been around a long time. I was doing this before it was cool and I'm still here, you know, still here doing it at the highest level. I can beat anybody in the world and I hope he's next. Tell the tape, Islam Makachev 25 and one versus Dustin Poirier 30 and eight. I mean, you talk about you talk about the experience, man, right away with Dustin Poirier. I mean, Dustin Poirier has the experience, but he also, he has that crazy, he has crazy power in his damn hands. Because the other day I saw an interview where Habib said, I don't know why Gaethje's fighting Max Holloway. I don't know who Islam's gonna fight, what's gonna happen. Do you think that with the timing, this uh, being where it is right now, you get through something, you might be on the verge of a title fight? I mean, not to be cocky or mm -hmm. boastful, but I feel like the, the run I've had in the UFC, this is my 30th fight, I'm one big win away at any time from a title yeah, fight. Yeah, you know? at any time. That's what I believe, one big win, you know? Y you a great performance, a finish, I'm, I'm right there, always. On June 2nd, the eyes of the mixed martial arts world will be on the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, as UFC 302 stages a thrilling lightweight championship bout between the reigning champion, Islam Makachev, and the challenger, Dustin, the Diamond Poirier. Dustin Poirier, known for his heart and resilience inside the octagon, is no stranger to high-stakes competition. A former interim lightweight champion, Poirier has overcome some of the sport's most formidable opponents. With notable victories over Conor McGregor and Max Holloway, Poirier has proven he belongs at the sport's elite level. Having faced setbacks, like his loss to Charles Oliveira, Poirier now eyes a third shot at UFC gold, determined to realize his dream. His opponent, the champion Islam Makachev, has been unstoppable in the lightweight division. Under the mentorship of the legendary Khabib Nurmagomedov, Makachev's grappling expertise and control inside the octagon have left his rivals struggling for answers. With an impressive win streak, Makachev isn't just defending his title, he's fighting to prove he's the undisputed best in the lightweight division. UFC 302 presents a classic clash of styles. Poirier's striking, highlighted by his boxing skills and knockout power, stands in stark contrast to Makachev's world-class sambo techniques and ground control. 
Both champions have voiced their confidence heading into the bout. Poirier is betting on his experience and striking ability to secure the championship, while Makachev sees this defense as his moment to cement his legacy. Poirier's strategy should focus on keeping the fight standing, leveraging his superior boxing to challenge Makachev and avoid the takedown. Makachev will likely aim to close the distance, using his dominant wrestling to control Poirier on the ground. The stakes are monumental. A victory for Poirier could redefine his legacy as one of the greatest lightweights in MMA history. For Makachev, successfully defending his title further establishes his reign and sets the stage for his legacy in the division. As June 2nd draws near, the anticipation mounts for what promises to be an explosive showdown between two of the sport's premier athletes. UFC 302 isn't just about a title, it's a pivotal battle for legacy, pride, and the future of the lightweight division. If anything adversity has taught me in the past, is when times are good, be grateful. And when times like this, be graceful. I'm sorry for anyone I let down with this performance. I promise you I wanted this more than anything.